Magandang umaga, all generations. Ako po si Brother Sly, isa sa mga elders ng church. Kamusta po kayo? Sana mas mabuti kaysa kahapon. Sabi po sa 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. Sa ibang salin, sabi dito, Give all your worries to Him because He cares for you. All your worries. Ibig sabihin, lahat-lahat po. Sa Greek, yung word daw po na cast, ang ginamit dito ay yung ripto or ibig sabihin to hurl or throw or cast. At uh, ibig sabihin din nun, ito ay it often means to violently throw or fling something with great force. So kung i-analyze po natin yung pagcast o pagbigay o pagbato, ganun po ang uh, sinasabi sa atin ni Peter dito, lahat-lahat ng pasanin natin sa buhay, lahat ng dinadala natin, lahat ng pabigat, problema, uh, worries, fears, doubts, lahat po ito ay sinasabi ni Peter na ibigay, ibato, o ipaubayan na natin sa Diyos. Kaya nga po sa umagang ito, ito po yung ating prayer na ipanalangin natin na lahat ng mga bagay na gumugulo sa ating isipan, uh, ibigay natin sa Diyos dahil a re replace niya po ito ng kapayapaan niya. Tayo po ay manalangin. Dear Lord, we praise you for who you are. And we thank you because you deeply care for us. Father, you know the anxieties we have, the problems that weigh us down, and the worries that occupies our minds. We pray, Father, that you grant us mercy and forgiveness for sinning against you because of the things we do that displeases you. Grant us the grace to get through the many challenges that we face daily. We pray for wisdom so that our decisions will be in line with your will. And we pray for peace to help us maintain sanity in these very difficult times. All this we ask and pray through the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, join me as we continue to praise and worship the Lord by offering these songs to Him.
Morning, all generations. Ako po si Brother Sly, isa sa elders ng, mga, ng church. Today, I will share with you some lessons I learned uh, from the letter of Paul to the Corinthians found in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 to 18. Basahin po natin ito ng sabay-sabay. That is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. So we don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on the things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone, but the things we cannot see will last forever. Before we proceed with our study, let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for your grace and mercy that we are gathered together as we study and listen to your word. Open our hearts that we may see the wonderful things in your law. Amen. I became a prosecutor or fiscal in 2016. In my second year, I was privileged to be endorsed by our chief of office for promotion. Uh, our office follows the seniority rule. Kumbaga sa pila, first come, first serve. Meron pong limang bakanting posisyon. 
At sa bakanting position na yun, ako po yung una, tapos merong apat na kasunod ko. So, hindi ito agawan sa position kasi lahat naman kaming lima ay mapopromote. Ang mahirap lang, kapag sa promotion namin, ang mag approve kailangan si Presidente, Presidente ng Pilipinas. As early as 2017, my paper was already in Malacanang, awaiting for the President's approval. Natapos ang 2017, walang nangyari. In 2018, yung isa kong kasama, na-promote na. In 2019, another office mate was promoted. Ito yung pangatlo. In December of 2019, I was growing impatient. And I was already thinking of asking for some extra help. In other words, humanap ng padrino. Mamaya pag-uusapan po natin yan. In June of 2020, or more than three years, three long years of waiting, I have grown impatient, cranky and hopeless regarding my promotion. Dagdag pa natin dito yung stress na dinulot ni COVID. One morning, I was driving to work playing a random playlist on my Spotify. Then, Gary V's hit song, Natutulog Ba Ang Diyos, played. I suddenly could not hold back my tears. Humahagulgul ako simula MCX hanggang Carmona Exit. This was a good 15-minute drive. I had to stop at the parking lot because I could not enter the office. I could not say or I could say that I have reached my breaking point. Ayon sa Collins Dictionary, ito daw ang breaking point. If something or someone has reached a breaking point, they have so many problems or difficulties that they can no longer cope with them and may soon collapse or be unable to continue. In human psychology, The breaking point is a moment of stress in which a person breaks down. Kamusta ka, kapatid? Kamusta po tayo? Have you reached a point in your life when you just want to give up? Throw in the towel, tap out and say, hindi ko na kaya, ayoko na, awat na, suko na ako. Nasabi mo na ba yung mga katagang yan? Or sa sitwasyon natin ngayon, sa tingin mo ba, Naabot mo na ang sukdulan o breaking point? Research says the intensity of environmental stress necessary to bring this breaking point, point varies from individual to individual. Take note, ang sabi po dito, varies from individual to individual. Dahil magkakaiba po tayo, magkakaiba rin ang ating breaking point. At wala tayong karapatan upang manghusga ng iba. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na, eh, napakababaw naman ang problema mo. Pag-prime mo lang yan. Hindi po. Hindi ko po alam kung ano ang pinagdaraanan ninyo ngayon. Perhaps, there is sickness or death in the family. Or, you got separated from work or still could not find work. Perhaps, you have failed in class. That would mean delay, further delay in your studies. Or, You could not study because of lack of financial resources. Perhaps your marriage is falling apart. Or you're suffering from a recent heartbreak. Perhaps your prodigal son or daughter has not yet returned. Or you are struggling so hard to fight and control your addiction. When we have reached our breaking point, what do we do? The Apostle Paul in his letter to the Corinthians, yung pong binasa natin, says this in verse 16, Therefore, we do not lose heart. That is why we never give up. So, we do not lose heart. We do not lose heart. We do not give up. Why? Tuloy po natin. Sabi dito, Paul says, Though our outer man is decaying, yet our inner man is being renewed day by day. In the Living Bible, sabi po dito, Though our bad bodies are dying, our spirit, spirits are being renewed every day. Let that sink for a while. It says, being renewed every day or day by day. Just like when we ask the Lord for 
bread every day, just like when the wandering Israelites were asking for the Lord to provide manna every day. Ganon din po tayo. We depend on the Lord daily. Our tired, broken, worrisome, burdened spirits are being renewed by the Lord daily. Ang ibig sabihin nito, bawat bagong araw ay may dalang bagong pag-asa. We just have to meet the, do the Lord daily. So, how do we check? Paano ba natin malalaman? How do we check if we are indeed being renewed by the Lord daily? Meron po akong proposal ng tatlong bagay. Una, we count and cherish, cherish our blessings. Make it a habit of thanking God. Sabi po sa Deuteronomy verse, chapter 26, verse 11, it says, To rejoice in all the good things the Lord your God has given to you and your household. Balik po tayo dun sa story ako kanina. I could not come off, out of the car because my eyes were bloody red. Pulang pula. So I called Macy and told her what happened. I just poured out my frustrations. She said some things na hindi ko na maalala. And we just hang up and agreed to talk about it later that night sa, sa bahay. What I did not know was that after our call, Macy immediately called the children and told them about my situation. And they prayed for me. Nasa kalagit na anak po ako ng hearing noon sa korte, nang makatanggap ako ng sunod-sunod na text. At sabi sa text ay ganito, Praying for you, tatay, we all want you to make the right choice that is best for you and for all of us. So, how can I give up? Paano ka ba naman magigive up sa ganong mensahe na matatanggap mo? Pero to be continued po ulit yung story ko. Pero ang tumatak sa isip ko ay ito. Di ba napakalaking blessing na isipin kung paano kumikilos ang Diyos sa buhay espiritual ng mga mahal natin sa buhay? Lalo na kapag nakikita natin na ang growth spiritually ay nanggagaling mula sa ating mga anak. Hindi ko masukat yung galak. Hindi po ito katulad ng academic achievement na or medals na tatatanggang sa school. Ibang klase kapag spiritual blessing or growth ang nakikita natin. Is it not comforting to know that your family loves you and prays for you, especially during your darkest days? Ito ay napakalaking blessing na hindi mo mabibilang o masusukat. That is why we do not lose heart. So, as our inner selves are being renewed by God daily, we also have the opportunity to thank Him daily. Ito po ay isang practical tip. Sabi dito, if we wake up in the morning and recite, tatlo lang, recite three things that we are grateful for, it reminds us how blessed we are and trains our hearts and minds to be thankful. Practicing gratitude turns our focus from ourselves and toward the Lord who has done everything for us. So let us uh, cherish and count our blessings. The second way to check if we are indeed being renewed daily ay ito. We consider God's character and cling to God's promises. Tanda natin kung anong klaseng Diyos meron tayo at panghawakan natin ang kanyang mga pangako. In verses 17 to 18 of our text, Paul says, For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison as we look not on the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Sa Tagalog, mas maliwanag. Ang bahagya at panandali ang kapaghati ang dinaranas namin ngayon ay magbubunga ng kagalakang walang hanggan at walang katulad. Kaya paningin namin ay nakatuon sa mga bagay na hindi nakikita at hindi sa mga bagay na nakikita. Sapagkat Panandalian lamang ang mga bagay na nakikita, ngunit walang hanggan ang mga bagay na hindi nakikita. 
Baka sabihin nyo, eh Kuya Sly, hindi mo naman alam kung anong bigat ang problema na dinadala ko. Paano mo masasabi na bahagya at panandali ang kapighati ang dinaranas lamang? Well, kailangan po nating ilagay sa konteksto o tamang perspektibo ang sinasabi ni Paul dito. Nung sinabi niyang bahagya at panandalian lamang, ito po ay kumpara sa inihanda ng Diyos na kagalakan na walang hanggan ngunit hindi nakikita. So, yung temporary at saka yung eternal. We may not always be aware of it. We may not readily see its effects. We may not even feel that something is happening. And sometimes we may never know its purpose. But the Lord is working in our lives through our afflictions. Sa pamamagitan po ng mga problema ang ating dinadala. Let us consider God's character. We know that God is sovereign. We know that God is omniscient. And it is already an understatement to say that He loves us. So, in Romans 8.28, we recall, it says, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. If we go on reading on that same chapter, sabi po sa verse 35, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? Sabi po sa 38, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither present nor future, or any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in the creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us expand our imagination and use some creativity. Pag sinabi pong trouble, pwedeng problema sa pag-ibig. Hardship, are you constantly being reminded of past hurts or hang-ups with your parents? Or persecution, ikaw ba ay biktima ng gossip ng mga marites at ng mga tolits sa opisina or sa school? Famine, Wala na bang pang milk tea? Wala na pang Starbucks? Or, mas mabigat, wala kang trabaho? Or kulang palagi ang pera? Wala nang maisaing? Nakedness. Struggles with our addiction or favorite secret sin. Meron ba tayong addiction na hindi ma-give up? Danger. Danger is pwede siyang fear of getting COVID or getting sick. At panghuli, sword. Constant nagging ng ating mga misis or mga misis naman pwedeng being gaslighted by their husbands. Paul is saying kung ano pa man ang pinagdaraanan natin o ano pa man pinagdaraanan mo kapatid, the Lord promises to be with us. Nothing can separate us from His love. Kamusta po tayo? Do you find your problems, worries, and fears in the list that, that I have just mentioned? Do not lose heart. Remember, God is renewing our spirits every day. So kung babalikan po natin, how do we check if we are indeed being renewed every day? We cherish and count our blessings. We... Uh, Consider the promises and character of God. At yung panghuli, sabi po dito, we check our character. Let's go back to my story. By December, or after my Gary V crying episode, another office mate was promoted. So, ito na yung pangapat. Ito na naman ako. Umiyak ba ako? Hindi na. Not this time. Instead, I got angry. I got angry at God. Pero nakakapagod palang awayin si Lord. Hindi naman sumasagot. So I did something better. I decide, decided to take matter, the matter into my own hands. Napag-desisyon ko na na eto na ang panahon para lumapit dun sa isang padrino. Para sa mga bata, at ang padrino ay eto. 
It is a value system where one gains favor, promotion, or political appointment through family affiliation or friendship as opposed to one's merit. Alam ko na iyon ay mali. It is wrong, but I justified my decision saying, wala naman ako inaagawang pwesto. Akin naman talaga yun. Nauna lang yung ibang ma-appoint. Pinaghirapan ko naman yun. So, matagal akong naghintay, I deserve this. This is long overdue. My only problem was how to convince my wife. So, one fine Friday night, I found myself debating with my wife to convince her about my decision. Sa bawat passage at bawat, uh, bawat passage sa Bible at bawat past experience na sasabihin ni Macy about the Lord's goodness, unfailing love, and promises na napantunayan na naman namin pareho at ng aming pamilya sa aming buhay, I will always, always find a way to counter it. Binabara ko na lang para lang makapangaway. Ang mapikon, talo. So, with a firm resolve, I said, sa lunes, manda ka na. Lalapit na tayo sa padrino na makakatulong sa akin. So, the whole Saturday passed and I had this in mind. Kumbinsido na ako. Have you reached that point? Narating nyo ba yung puntong yun, mga kapatid, na... Dumating kay sa breaking point nyo at sinabi mo sa sarili mo na, Lord, wala ka namang ginagawa. Discarte ko na itong mag-isa. And then, I went to church that Sunday. At yung ninong kong gwapo daw, e eh, kinamusta ko. Ikwinento ko sa kanya yung problema ko, tapos sabi ko, Ninong, tama ba gagawin ko? I was expecting to receive a standard answer like, Pag-pray natin yan. Or, maghintay ka pa sa leading ni Lord. Or, konting tiis pa. Palaging perfect ang timing ni Lord, di ba? Pero, ang tanong ko, ay e ginantihan ng isang rhetorical question. Sa, ang tanong niya sa akin, ano ba ang conviction mo, Sly? Sabay tawa. Ano ba ang conviction mo? Para sa akin, Ang ibig sabihin ng simpleng tanong na yon ay ito. Na kanino ba ang pananampalataya mo? Sa Diyos o sa tao? Ano ang katotohanan ng pinaniniwalaan mo? Anong prinsipyo ang pinaninindigan mo? Anong pangako ang pinanghahawakan mo? And the Lord was telling me, Hey, Sly, you need to get your character checked. You get angry when you don't get what you want. You take matters into your own hands. You're willing to compromise your faith. You are willing to set this kind of example to your kids. All because of this temple thing, this promotion, panandalian lamang. And you have the guts to say, you deserve this. You see, just because I wanted that promotion so much, Ako ay naging magagalitin, ng aaway, nagyabang, at willing to compromise my faith and to lose the respect that my children have just because of that promotion. Brothers and sisters, do not make the same mistakes I made. Do you feel like giving up or giving into temptation? Let us remember the Lord is renewing our tired broken down, burned even angry spirits every day so we do not lose heart. Sa totoo lang, wala naman talaga tayong dapat ipagyabang o kayang ipagyabang. Sabi nga ni Paul sa chapter 12 ng 2 Corinthians, Therefore, in order to keep me from being conceited, I was given this thorn in my flesh, a messenger of Satan, to torment me. Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me, but He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest 
on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in my weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, I am strong. So, so balik tayo do sa kwento ko. Buti na lang, hindi natuloy si Padrino. So sabi ko sa sarili ko, Lord, surrender na ako. I will no longer take matters into my own hands. Ikaw na ang bahala. I am casting all my cares to you. In March of 2021, just a week after my birthday, I took my oath of office as a newly promoted prosecutor only through the grace and mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. All these things had to happen so that my family and I will be reminded that even our problems, our worries, our fears, our doubts, even the mistakes I made can be and will be used by Him to teach, mold, transform us for His glory alone. Before I end, I want to read to you a timely reminder given by the Apostle Paul, also found in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. He said that we've been surrounded and battered by troubles, but we are not demoralized. We're not sure what to do, but we know that God knows what to do. We've been spiritually terrorized, but God hasn't left our side. We've been thrown down, but we haven't been broken. That is why we do not lose heart. In sum, balikan po natin. We do not lose heart because God is renewing our spirits daily. And we can be sure of that as we count and or cherish our blessings, as we consider God's character and cling to His promises, and as we check our character. In conclusion, we may be decaying or wasting away in our troubles, our doubts, and fears. As we are overwhelmed by our seemingly hopeless scenario, but we should not lose heart because God renews our inner beings daily and helps us to overcome our afflictions to glorify Him in the process. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for word. Thank you for your reminder that you are always with us. Thank you that we can come to you and just give out all our fears, our troubles, and doubts. And we pray that you continue to bless us as you mold our character and we depend totally on you. Amen. May the good Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. Amen. Hold me in your arms, never let me go. I want to spend eternity with you. I stand before you. All my praise Your love is all I need Jesus, you're all I need My life belongs to you You give your life for me Your grace is all I need Jesus, you're all I need Hold me in your arms Never let me go I want to spend eternity with you And now that you're near Everything is different Everything's so different, Lord And I know I'm not the same My life you've changed I want to be with you I want to be with you Whoa. I stand before you, Lord, and give you all my praise. Your love is all I need. Jesus, you're all I need. My life belongs to you. You give 
Your life for me Your grace is all I need Jesus, you're all I need Hold me in your arms Never let me go I want to spend eternity with you And now that you're near Everything is different Everything so different, Lord And I know I'm not the same My life you've changed And I wanna be with you I wanna be with you Now you're near Everything is different Everything so different, Lord And I know I'm not the same My life you've changed And I wanna be with you I wanna be with you I will sing for you always Cause in your presence God Is where I wanna stay Hold me in your arms Never let me go I wanna spend the eternity with you And now that you're near Everything is different Everything so different, Lord And I know I'm not the same My life you've changed And I wanna be with you I wanna be And now that you're near Everything is different Everything so different, Lord I'm not the same My life you've changed I wanna be with you I wanna be with you Whoa.